Hey, what's up? It's me again. Quick video on how to make uh, low poly characters using Insta LOD uh, remesher. Uh, so this can save your CPU a lot of uh, processing power when you're doing scenes, uh, especially crowd scenes, club scenes, stadium scenes, uh, fight scenes with all kinds of gladiators and stuff like that. So uh, I would highlight the character. I would go to convert to game base. Mm, I'm going to do a 2048. Okay. Convert. It's baking. And there we go. Okay. So what I want to do now is um, go to modify and I want to click on polygon reduction wearables and here well, I'm just going to go by the percentage which is 50 percent and I'm going to apply this okay so now we're at 40,000 okay we went down by half almost so the next thing we want to do is I want to check everything now all together uh, wire framed and I guess that's okay. That's fine for now. Let me take it back to normal. Now I would like to erase all these. We're not going to use them. So I'm going to take this one off, take this one off, and take this one off. I'm going to delete these. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the character export as an i avatar and i'm going to go down to insta lod remesher now right here we can really take it down really really low low lowest and normal uh, i'm going to keep it at normal for now and i'm going to bake the texture size at 2048 for now and then i go ahead and export i'm going to name this one cartoon chick LOD normal LP for low poly and here goes Sam I'm gonna do the same thing with Sam I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the poly count for the wearables right there polygon reduction wearables by 50% um, and I'm gonna apply Mm, so what I do here is uh, if I hit conform and calculate collision it doesn't fix it I mean I could probably do it again even uh, there it goes let me try it one more time one more time okay so it didn't fix it all the way but what I can do now is I go to take this off. I go to Edit Mesh. I go to Sculpt, and I use a Pull. And let me give it a little radius here, and then just pull it out, and we're done there. So we're good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the. Uh, I'm going to wireframe everything, see how everything looks. Yeah, that's fine. This could get uh, brought down a little bit more, so that's what I'll do now. The hair. I'll do that one more time. I will, but this time I'll go down here. Polygon reduction object, and then I hit percentage, 50%. Apply. Okay. Close. Um, let's see how it looks back normal and that looks fine right okay so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something different with this character I'm gonna bring it up close and the eyes the eyes um, if I wireframe the eyes you will see 
that there's a lot of detail in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the eyes. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep it wireframe right there so you can see how it looks. So I go over here and I go to eyes and I go down to game eyes, but I do game eyes one UV. Okay. So I go ahead and double click this. Boom. There you go. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the teeth. So I'm going to go here to um, modify open mouth and the teeth are 3378 triangles. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to content. I'm going to go to the teeth. Scroll down and I'm going to go to game teeth 1 UV. Double click. Now we're at 274 they look a little funnier yeah but when the character is far away nobody's gonna be checking out the teeth let me close the mouth here and let me bring the eyes back to normal okay so the last thing I'll do is convert the character itself so I select the character convert to game base I'll leave a single material. I'll put that at 2048. Convert. And you will notice right here it's at 5677. Converting. Okay, there we go. And it brought down the character to a whopping 38845. That's not bad, pretty good. There are a couple of ways to export them, send directly to iClone from here. Or file, export, iAvatar, Insta LOD remesher. I'll keep this at normal, normal mesh detail. And we'll keep this at 248 and I'll export. I'll name this Sam LOD normal and then I'll click save but since I already exported them I don't need to do it right now we're gonna go to the final product here is the final product and there you go you may say but they look funny yeah but when they're far away you can't tell and this is good for club scene uh, good for a bar scene uh, good for a, a crowd scene with a lot of people and the most important part is you want to keep your frames per second high and 60 is as high as it goes and this is how it would look close up uh, but that's okay you know you need uh, supporting characters in your scenes and this is how you get it done low poly characters the last thing I like to point out are the sizes of the characters. 6292 for Sam and 11246 for Sophie. Um, that is after it got exported uh, via Insta LOD remesher in Character Creator 3. This is some good stuff, man. Okay, see you next time.